Hey guys, it's Mitch. How's it going? We're back for another Spooky Season special, so another quick look at one of my horror trade paperbacks. We're looking today at Arkham Asylum. So this is by Grant Morrison and Dave McKean. If you're not too familiar with this story, you may wonder why exactly this is in with the horror stuff. This is a psychological haunted house story. This is essentially 13 Ghosts. If the director of 13 Ghosts was all about abstract imagery and Jungian philosophy and magic and whatever else Grant Morrison was into that week. And the thing that makes this story special is the Dave McKean art, in my opinion. The story's good, but from what I understand, Grant Morrison originally wanted this to be done by, like, Brian Boland or somebody, which is about the opposite of Dave McKean. And I think as a four-color, nine-panel grid kind of story, this would have gotten lost in the Batman mythos. But by adding in Dave McKean, all of a sudden, a whole bunch of abstract elements get added in, and this turns into a whole different beast. So this is basically the background story of Arkham Asylum, as fit into a Batman narrative. And Dave McKean, of course, I wonder how many people know who Dave McKean is these days. Like, at people under the age of 35. Because I think the last comic he did was Mr. Punch, which was like in the mid to late 90s. So unless they've been reading up on Sandman they, and knew he did the covers, they may not even know who he was. Anyway, this is going to be two stories, basically. There's going to be a story that's going on on top and a story on bottom. The story on top is that Arkham Asylum has been taken over by the inmates. The inmates are running the asylum. The problem, of course, in Arkham is that the inmates are all homicidal lunatics. So, naturally, Batman has to show up and punch them all in the face until they agree to go in their cell. As far as plot goes, it's pretty humdrum, to be honest. The story underneath is interesting, at least. It's the story of Amadeus Arkham, who founded Arkham Asylum, and how he himself eventually went mad. When one of his inmates broke out, killed his wife and daughter, and Grant Morrison heard about that and decided that guy might have a little bit of a breakdown... So he thought he'd write all about that. And basically just how Arkham is cursed. Like, you know, you, you, nobody gets better at Arkham. It's like, yes, the inmates are insane, but so is the house. So the inmates take over the asylum. Uh, they take prisoners. Joker is kind of running the show, which is a bad scene. This is Dave McKean's Joker, which is kind of fucking terrifying. And Joker wants Batman to basically run through Arkham, run through his rogues gallery, and be subjected to psychological torment, and eventually at the end succumb and just become one, another one of the inmates. And we get to see uh, Dave McKean's version of most of the big boys in Batman's rogues gallery. So we've got his Joker, we've got his Two-Face. There's kind of a classic bit here that I think got reprinted in Wizard, and that was probably the first I ever heard of this, where Batman shoves a piece of glass through his own hand, which is a little disturbing, and dr extremely drawn out by Dave McKean, like the, uh, the length of it. But we also get Clayface for a minute, we get Maxi Zeus, Scarecrow, Dr. Destiny, Killer Croc, all that. Only Grant Morrison went out of his way to kind of give each of them a sort of aberrant psychological profile. As opposed to just, you know, like, he's crazy, he likes calendars. And that's pretty interesting, but it, it's the fact that uh, Dave McKean takes everything up to a super surreal level. That really makes this next level, and I think actually really gets under Grant Morrison's skin. <laughs> because this has kind of become one of the foundational blocks in Batman's... Uh, lore, I suppose. Like, this is definitively the history of Arkham Asylum now. Even though this was originally kind of pitched, I think, as more of an alternate uh, universe kind of thing. Because this version of Batman, like, he really does belong in Arkham. He's no different from the inmates. It's just he hasn't killed anyone yet. But from what I understand, he was a little surprised to find out that most people who have picked this up mostly remember the art. Because uh, the art is special. The story is good. But the art doesn't look like anything else, really. And this would kind of be the last time it did look like this, because, I mean, Dave McKean wouldn't really touch superhero stuff after this, because of this book. Uh, over the course of it, he apparently had difficulty sort of reconciling his artistic integrity and trying to do a serious psychological book set against a Batman universe, which is inherently silly. So we got one good go from Dave McKean of him doing a really creepy Batman story and that was all we were going to get, but that's okay, because we have it now. And Grant Morrison has since tried to explain the metaphors and try to kind of, I think, kind of maintain his position as the driving force behind this story. But I know when I go back to read this, I'm not motivated by the story so much as by the art myself. Anyway, that's Arkham Asylum. Creepy as fuck, looks amazing, pretty good story. I know there's a good chance almost everyone has this one already, but you never know with the kids these days, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I might have one or two more of these to pull out. Although, I gotta say, my collection's running a little thin. I know I had 30 Days of Night at one point, but it seems to have completely disappeared. So I would have liked to have done that. But anyway, 
that's going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.